What is going on guys and girls, welcome back to Imperator Rome and our current dictator Marcus Valerius Corvinus who unfortunately can't even change the laws. Uh, that's very upsetting. I, I really don't understand why I can't go back to this one. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But regardless, we're going to be playing with it anyways, that's fine. Maybe at a later date we'll be able to change it back. Uh, but yeah, for now, there's something interesting I wanted to do. I want to have a, uh, a gladiatorial debut for one of our characters here. Gaius Junius. He is friend of the governor of Cisalpine Gaul. In fact, hold on. Hold on. Are we not friends with one of those guys? Sensor and likely the next consul and he's our friend. He is brother of the... The brother of the governor of Cisalpine Gaul is our friend. Wait. He's the governor of Cisalpine. Okay, so, alright, I see. Well, that's, that's, no, okay, no. Then we don't really have a connection there. I was, I was gonna say, if, if our friend's brother was in prison, we would maybe do it. But it's our friend's brother's friend. So, yeah, that's a bit much. We're not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna be releasing him. So, I think a debut there would be nice. Making you a gladiator specifically because we might gain uh, loyalty based on that and uh, yeah this guy submissive jealous intelligent man righteous brave we'll see we'll see how they do but there's a trial by combat with a proud fanfare and mildly excited applause Dumb Norix and Gaius took to the sands this day to fight for their very survival in the arena. The crowd responded well to the outstanding fight, and the outcome seemed uncertain to the last, until, to unenthusiastic jubilation, Dumb Norix impaled Gaius with a jagged rock. With great pomp, our consul declared Dumb Norix Mandonus the victor to be granted freedom immediately. Very good. He loses 10 health. We gain 15 popularity. That's actually really good. And Gaius Junius has been killed. Awesome, so there should be no more characters imprisoned. Awesome. Okay, so we'll be moving on. That was a bit fun. And we are no longer importing olives to Latium. That's not good, actually. We need to change that. Olives was making our people happy, but there's also marble. Surplus in the capital reduces monthly tyranny. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, it's giving the province loyalty. <sighs> city provincial loyalty. Nah, you know what? We'll do this. Yeah, because it's just for the city actually. Yeah, we can definitely... We can definitely get the bonus for having it in the capital. In fact, no, wait. Ah, we need a surplus. Right. Yeah, maybe then that doesn't make too much sense. Can I, um... Cancel this? Yeah, we don't need provincial loyalty here. Olives instead will make people happy all over the place. Alright, now I Oh my god, I was doing this for the tourney thing. Right. Is that that necessary? Not really. Because we have the export bonus already. Fine. I think we're going to go with the olives instead. We'll take that from Kirinaka. And there we go. Alright. I feel like we've lost some money. Some income. Okay. But we're still making like 20 bucks. That's that's pretty good. We did spend 500 gold on uh, yeah supporting this pretender here in Epirus. Uh, in Macedon. And uh, he's not quite ready, feels like. Oh well. An unwelcome gift. Matthias Ogulnis, a loyal servant of the state, yet a man of questionable aesthetic talent, has commissioned a statue in our honor. And this looks terrible. We'll demolish it. Mm, Tribune of the Plebs. He's friend of the governor of Illyria, Grey Car. Yeah, you know what? We'll demolish it. Then again, we're humble. Do we really care? I, I guess we just don't want to have it. Let's just remove it. Okay. And a fauna has arrived. Servius Alias, shrewd, just, and brave. Wow, he seems cool. He's a very good marshal. Interesting. But can we grant him citizen status? Oh, not while an event demands my attention. Okay. 
Marcus Villas Corvinos has sent word that he has fallen ill. We have an infection. Okay, we'll be treating that. But first, can I grant this guy citizen status? He is Sibelian, a foreign citizen. I think I... Well, if we do this, the alien become a prominent family in Rome. We lose popularity. But this guy is really good. He'll be an amazing marshal for our campaign against uh, Macedon. I think we're going to grant him citizen status. And we might give him command over a legion. Legion 3. Hmm. Well, not immediately, maybe. Maybe we'll give him a smaller command. Lucius Cornelius Scipio. Hmm. Publius Sempronius Sophus. His loyalty is at 80%. Your loyalty is at 80... What about you? 88. Reckless. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll keep we'll keep this guy in mind for now. Whenever we need a new general, I'll be appointing him. In fact, do we have an admiral for our fleet? We do. Numerius Fabius Rullianus. But yeah, plus 12 is actually kind of amazing. Um, and I don't think his family is actually upset. Yeah, why is he not upset? He should be upset. I mean, I'm, I'm glad he isn't, but like, there sh he should be. Oh well. But most families are actually fine. If I can make... Uh, we could remove the Praetor. And give that to maybe... One of you. Let's quickly check our government. Praetor. Could you be replaced? Claudi... Ju oh, a... Well, Juni, no, none of these... Marcia, Quintus Marcia. You know what? Yeah, you shall be replaced. You were good enough Praetor. And that might help... Keep a family happy. Okay, what is this? We have barbarians here. And this city is being occupied. I don't like that. But we have 7,000 mercenaries we can hire here. I think I will, so I don't have to use my precious manpower. And... Accius. Naeus Accius is the general. He can't be replaced, that's fine. We'll be retaking this city. I hate that it's even been occupied in the first place. But oh well. Good. Now, a venomous tongue. The governor of Campania is a particularly weasel-like man. He has begun staring up the people in his, of his governance, perhaps hoping to challenge our rule. The debt of treason must be paid in blood. We will... Oh, Campania loses a lot of loyalty if we do this. We cannot move against him. Well, they, they lose loyalty either way. Wait, and a son? Wait, that's our son? That's our son. We can't imprison our son. No, okay. Well, what the fuck then? Why is he doing this? An ambitious man, I see. Well, we cannot move against him. He's our son. Yeah, that would be weird. We can give him free hands. We'll cost loyalty to revoke. His loyalty is slightly going down, but that's really not that much. Now, he is sick. We can actually seek treatment for him. And we should probably be seeking treatment for us as well. Yeah, there you go. I should have done that, but oh well. Okay, we have to get these 7,000 men here that are basically just protecting us. And then, now that I've hired these mercenaries, we might want to use them. But it kind of depends what happens with Macedon here. Um, Egypt is also at war with Phrygia, so they are... Yeah, as you can see, they're losing. So they're not going to be too much of a problem. Now, Macedon has actually invaded. So I think... Yeah, we, we got to strike at some point. But oh well. Marcus Villas Corvinus has been receiving treatment for some time now. It wasn't actually that long. But okay. Good. Good job. We have been cured of our disease. But uh, yeah, we're going to be dying anyways. Going to be dying very soon. So it doesn't actually matter all that much. 
So, these mercenaries... They're slowly gaining. Wow, that's actually a lot of money. Marcus the Energetic. Wow, at 70, he's actually energetic. That's so cool. Does that actually give us something? Martial and finesse. It does not actually help our health. So, okay. So, hold on. City Provincial Loyalty. Ambrakia. Is this giving us extra loyalty here? Can I see this somewhere? No. Income, manpower. Okay, our son has lost the inflammation. That's good. Can I see unrest? So that's plus point one. Hmm. Interesting. I think we can actually trade that away. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be trading that away. I think I don't really see the benefit here. It it gotta it, it's gotta have some benefit, but I don't really see it. So I'll I'll just trade it away. It's fine. We'll do we'll do fine without it. We're actually still making tons of money despite paying for these mercenaries, which uh, now that I think about it, may have been a mistake. Maybe we should use them to declare war here. Macedon would join. So, maybe that's not the play. Maybe we can declare war on you, though. Yeah. We could take Illyria Greca. You have only Dardania as your ally. You know what? Yeah. We'll be declaring war. And we'll... Increase... Oh, this automatically got increased, interestingly. I don't think we need to increase our naval stuff. We will simply move in with our mercenaries. I, I don't know if these guys are going to be enough. Uh, probably. And wow, okay. Marcus Velius Cominus just died of dysentery. Okay, there's the Battle of Scotra. They have a lot more men. Good, so this is going to be a defeat. No problem, though. We can hire more mercenaries. And I think I will. I want to conserve my manpower as best as I can. So let's hire... Let's hire these guys. They're going to cost 18 gold per month. Okay. Um, it's actually going to be quite expensive. Mm. Alright, well, let's check, let's check out who's our current... Ruler. Oh, it actually is Marcus Valerius Corvinus. Okay, our son took over. And he's a populist. Oh, well, that's bad. That is really, really bad. But he's an ambitious man. He has an inflammation still. Didn't we already find treatment for that? Perhaps not. Silver-tongued. And that means we need a new governor of Magna Graecia here. So let's see who we can appoint. Let me quickly check if we've got any friends. Yes, Julia Prima. And then we've got the Admiral, Numerius Fabius Rullianus. I think this guy, a tactician, we might... Well, first of all, epileptic, energetic person. Grant Stippens. Hmm. Well, I think he's fine as an Admiral. And then we'll see Calus Flavius. The Junior ER upset. Maybe Gaius Junius. He's only 17 years old. It's very young. But he's a just man. Local unrest would go down if he was to become. He's just so young. This guy is merciful. Extra research points. You know what? Cal Calus Flavius. You'll be. Uh, You'll be taken over here. And we are part of the populace. So can I now... Actually, can I now change these laws? Yes, we could. We could change these laws because we're part of the populace. Okay, so I think I will do that. The question... Or the, the problem is... Marcus, right now... 
you know, he's content in life. But he is like, he's ambitious, right? I don't know if he would necessarily give up the power that he has. But he is part of the populace, so we'll have to see. What's our popularity? Isn't very high. Maybe holding some games would be a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that. And I guess we'll be... Since we're part of the populace, we'll probably change the law back. But first, we're going to win this war that our father had started. We'll recruit more mercenaries and send them north to Lissus. And yeah, that's fine. We're going to be we're going to be losing a little bit of money. That's that's not really a problem. Okay. Yeah, we lost some troops. That's fine. But we are sending more north and we're not going to be wasting our manpower for it. Spread of Isis. Whoa, holy shit. That's actually... Okay. <laughs> That's a different Isis. Uh, yeah, an Egyptian ship has docked at the port in our city of Apollonia, carrying a priest of the Isis cult amongst its cargo. The Egyptian goddess has seen a growing cult in her honor, with all the rites and celebrations one usually sees among the mystery cults of Greek, the Greek pantheon. We can lose religious power. New character appears in Rome. Up to 25% of free men and citizens will convert. Um... Do I care? Silver-tongued. I don't think we care, necessarily. So... I think we'll allow these priests to be here. Then again... Yeah, you know what? Fine. Why not? Okay, so our troops are arriving. Okay, our morale is just terrible. Why is it so bad? Has it not had time to recover yet? Yeah, we've been defeated. We actually killed more men. It's just our morale was so terrible. So that's actually kind of unfortunate. Okay. You want to get fish. Olives and fish. We'll accept both. We'll just trade everything away. Because we kind of need the money. Okay, so there is Dardania coming with their troops. Hmm. But it's a shame that you are... Retreating so far as our enemies advance. Okay, we'll have to move forward a little bit. Wow, they are they are attacking us quickly. Oratory advances. That's nice. Can you please arrive? Come on. All right, a miraculous recovery. Doctors are overrated. Well, I did seek treatment, but okay. So what's interesting is that our health is actually growing slower now that we're no longer seeking in a treatment. That's very strange. But all right, come on, turn around. Let's actually do a proper fight properly here, okay? We're gonna take defensive position this side of the river. And we're gonna have to break the siege of Sisapo. And we'll go to Apollonia. This is actually where the Isis cult just uh, started. Okay, we'll be crossing to Belis as well. And the grass is green. The city of Akosa and Telamon have been engaged in a war of words. Each claim to be more righteous, powerful, or zealous than the other. Oh, wow, that's actually good. The downside of this may become apparent with time. However, the tide of young men belonging to these settlements who are willing to volunteer for war has increased greatly. Good, so we should be getting more manpower. Nice. So, 19,000 men. Let's attack and we'll be retaking Apollonia. I don't want this to fall. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Just as I said that as well. All right, we are taking attrition here as we speak. But that, as do they. So... And since these are just mercenaries, I don't really mind. We're going to get these both together. And 24,000 men will attack. Higher quality, higher morale. They have the better commander. And the better terrain. Or the terrain on our side. We're actually losing a lot more men. Okay, martial advances. Oh, this is actually really poor for us. We need really good rolls in order to be successful here. That's a negative five for us. Like, basically the entire time. So yeah, if we get poor rolls, 
We really have an issue. Wow, six. But we won anyway. Cool. 11,000 men. We actually even killed more than we lost. And again, this is really costing us money. Right now, it's not even costing us money. We can even repay this. So how many men? These are 4,000. Good. Let's, uh, let's re-siege some of our provinces here. Retake our lands. I hate that it fell. I was really hoping we could prevent that. But all right. Let's at least retake some of it. Let's go to Cladonia. Okay, Lucius Postumius died. He was an Augur. Okay, who else? Claudii. Mm hmm. Some of these families are just terrible, I feel like. Marcia Philippus. There you go. You'll get a position. Yeah, okay. That at least gets rid of one of the unhappy families. That's fine. I like that. Okay, so, yeah, once more, we had a really rough start to this war. Um, two very big losses, but we, we've turned around, and I think we just have more money, right? We just have more money. We're fighting with... I mean, actually, we're gaining money as we, as we fight, and our manpower is steadily increasing. I... We don't really have any news from Macedon just yet. I do believe they have... No, they're still at war with Egypt. Okay, what about your sibling? Oh, he's gained loyalty. His loyalty is at 50 again, which sucks. Maybe we can inspire some disloyalty. Maybe that would be the play. I think we shall, just to get this down much quicker, hopefully. Because I I, I don't want this to be wasted. I want the troops that we have, uh, that we have uh, paid for to actually matter, right? Uh, otherwise, it would have been a waste of 500 gold. So I hope that he's going to rebel and that we can then swoop in and, and take the lands for ourselves. But we shall see. For now, that was it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.